Tommy, that's a brilliant comeback to get a draw there. So what are your thoughts after that? I'm um, delighted with the, the second half performance, the reaction we got from the lads at half time. You know, it was really, it, I won't be, it won't be lost on me though that how poor we were at set pieces defensively in the first half. The lads know my feelings on that, you know, spaces in our box are not, we don't want that, we want people marking men. Um, not on just the first contact, but the second or the third, which has happened on two occasions. So, you know, to wipe that disappointment away, half time, have a good adult chat with him and put a few home truths in there, but but still give them good direction. I felt, and I thought we tweaked one or two things. People might have thought, "What are you doing there?" But but I just felt that we, we could use the ball better than we did in the first half as well, and we did. I thought I thought the two strikers put in a fantastic shift again, caused all sorts of problems, and, and I thought we finished the game on the front foot. So, you know. Whenever you're two 0 down at half time or three one, as it were, every manager will say the next goal is the most important. Well, the next goal is the most important one any time. So the fact we got it, I think it just gives us a little bit more confidence. And look, I can see there's a group that are lacking a bit of confidence in general. I mean, and that, that happens because they don't win enough football matches. But, but there's a different feeling in there today than there was on Friday because we've come from behind, not just by one goal but by two. So they show me they've got a bit of heart, a bit of fight for the for the battle. And you know, we've got what is it left? Four games left. Four games left, and we've got to put in that effort and you know grit and determination. But we've got to show the quality that we showed in the second half because we defended very well in the second half again generally, but we also looked like a real attacking threat going forward. So look, I don't think we I don't think we're lucky to get away with a point here. I thought we absolutely deserved a minimum of a point. The team were you know quite noticeably better in the second half. Mm-hmm. Was, was that? But maybe down to something you said at half time. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but but ultimately, I think you know. They made six changes from the game on Friday, so what we thought we might be facing was very different. And that, that sometimes throws a spanner in the works for the players, because once they're on the pitch, it's up to them to make the choices and the decisions that they have to do when there's four or five players different to what they thought might be on the pitch. So, you know, I'm not giving them excuses, but it just there was a nervousness I felt in the, you know, early in the game. Um, and to be fair to Eastleigh, they capitalised on it. But after the few few rounds of sparring, I thought both teams had a go. And, they could knock each other out. It was just one of them games where, again, draws possibly the fair result. But if you're doing it the other way around, I would be really disappointed to have lost a two-goal lead. Whereas today, I'm absolutely thrilled that the lad showed enough to be able to come away with something from the game. Do you think that means we've got a bit of momentum to, to drag us forward now? Well, I hope so. I mean, at the end of the day, we've scored four goals in two games. So most times I've been in charge of a team if they win if you score four goals in two games you've got more than two points for it so that's something we got to address there's definitely a goal threat here um, and I think we've got a, a group of guys who you know want want to do their best so that usually for me is a good recipe and you said earlier you know Tav and Jack were forming a little bit of a partnership between them there and they both got their first shots goals so that's definitely something well that's pleasing pleasing because it doesn't matter what you say to strikers and I said it to you when I came in the building I really don't care who scores goals as long as we do as a group um, but for, for both of them to get one is really really pleasing for them really it's a you know it's it's that that dark cloud hanging over them and they don't have to worry about that anymore look Jack's been unlucky not to score another one I thought he should have got a penalty in the second half as well Tav's had other other attempts at goal where they've been blocked or saved by the goalie so like I said listen they work they work really hard as a pair and the lads behind them backed them up well enough I thought in the second half particularly so yeah I'm really pleased on the face doesn't look like that I'm really pleased with the point Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.